Welcome to an episode of Cooking with Quick Dick. And you're like, Quick Dick, what's wrong with your voice? Well, I've been doing comedy shows for like, this would be my fourth night straight. And then I was at crop production before that. So you talk to farmers all day about crops. So yeah, the voice is a little haggard, but that's all right. We're still going to rip through an episode of Quick Dick here. And this is a special episode of Cooking with Quick Dick because we're going from Big River over to Nipawin, Saskatchewan this morning. And look at how sweet the temperature is out there. Isn't that fantastic? And look, they'll go to town truck. Here's how it looks when you have a fancy truck with a bunch of fancy gauges on the thing. You notice that says minus 39 Celsius. You want to see what it looks like in Saskatchewan on the way from Big River to Nipawin at minus 39 in the wintertime? And you know it's cold when the old tires feel like they're square. <laughs> yep, that's right, she's a cold one, but we were built tough here in Saskatchewan, so we're gonna head her over to Nippowin, and we are going to the damn smokehouse. Stop in Shelbrook for a little diesel here. You gotta keep her on the top half of the tank when she's this cold. Haven't met any EVs out here today. Maybe just steer clear of PA, maybe. Made her. Oh, look, she warmed up a little bit out there. 10 whole degrees. I love this place. All right, let's go find Farron and do some cooking here. Farron, what's going on, man? You made her. Yeah, I made her. It's, it's a little, little fucking time. <laughs> hey, let's get at her. Put me to work, man. I'm Farron Schofer, the owner and kind of whatever here at the uh, Dab Smokehouse. Now the whole reason that I've traveled over to Nippowin is because Farron's got this huge mental health awareness fundraiser going on in Nippowin and he's invited me to be a part of it. So he's got Chris Klein gonna be playing some tunes to the crowd, it's a sold out crowd. Then he's got a speaker coming from the Canadian Mental Health Association, gonna talk a little bit. Then Farron's putting on this meal, brisket and chicken. Now I missed the cooking of the brisket because I was over in Big River, but Farron has agreed to allow me to show the process of how he smokes chicken. And then we're gonna serve out brisket and chicken for the night, then I'm gonna take the stage and uh, do my comedy show and we're gonna raise a bunch of money and uh, get people feeling a little bit more comfortable about talking about mental health. So, here we go, into the back of the damn smokehouse, Farron's chicken. What do we got going on back here? We got some whiskey Woo! burning off. What are we burning whiskey off for? Uh, we're making some maple whiskey sauce for some chicken. Very dark grade maple syrup comes in shipped in from Ontario directly to Zenon Park, and uh, some guys have hooked me up from there. Now I'm addicted to the stuff. Sweet maple syrup is a safe addiction. Oh, look at that! Right into the whiskey. This is gonna be good. This is the good stuff. In okay, case so you got a lid on, you got the maple syrup in there, what's next? Uh, now we uh, wait. And what well, we're going to be waiting, obviously, I need a beer. Okay, that, All right, that's something we can balance. <laughs> that's good beer. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Your name's probably on the liquor permit, hey? <laughs> So what's this thing, Farron? This is my smoker that we use here at the Dam Smokehouse, Southern Pride. Uh, got this out of Ontario. It gets shipped out from the States. Tennessee, right. I believe, is where they're made. Whoa! So we got green bean casserole in here right now. It's gonna get a little bit of a smoky tinge, not a lot, just because most of the, I don't, I didn't stock any more wood in here, so. Uh, that's what we're cooking in here right now. And this, so you guys swapped chicken out of here, and now you've got the green bean casserole yeah, on here. Yeah, chicken pulled out of here, so we didn't want anything like that dripping onto this stuff. So uh, 
chicken's done onto the onto look the how good that looks oh wicked okay so the chickens come off the smoker already right yeah okay why is it off the smoker it's off the smoker because it's done because it's done now what are we gonna do with it and we're gonna take it to the deep fryer and we're gonna crisp the skin up on it and spice it crisp the skin up on it and spice it sweet Okay, it's my turn. I'm gonna get in there and do one, but Sheriff Officer John Lee Butthole here is gonna, yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, there. Okay, grab a glove. All right, no glove, no love, right? That's, That's right. how this works? Okay, here we go. Now what do I do? Now, a nice handful of seasoning. Like a handful? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, give her a good oh, wait, sprinkle. That's oh, all right. Love you. All right, can I, can I do that? Yeah, you can do the, the yeah, salt bay. Right. Okay, good. Give her a okay. good shake. All right. Hey, Colonel Sanders, go fuck yourself. All right. Now the bottle of love here. Okay. Give her a good drink. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, now shake her again. Okay. And drink her again. And then get this into is, the tray. This is, should I shake it again? No, oh, you're good. Okay. Get into the tray. This is taking cooking with quick day to a whole nother level. Yeah. It really is. You like, did a pretty good job. <laughs> Who are you guys? Kale. Hey, man, Kale. What yeah. are you guys doing over here? Nothing. Hanging out? <laughs> you like support staff? Yeah. Like emotional support? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kale's <laughs> in there, too. While this team gets everything finished up here, I'm going to rip over to the hall and set up. So we were at the Evergreen Center and I just packed in because we're going to set up a stage right over here to entertain all these people here after we feed them here tonight. So, time to set up. Sounds alright. I think we're good to go. So we throw everything together and bring it all down here. Good crowd for a fundraiser tonight, folks. Okay, so it's chicken and brisket here tonight, and chicken and brisket, and Farron has decided that he's gonna let me serve at the end of this table here, and I just got coached on how to how to cut a brisket the right way, and it turns out that I'm a loser. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I so. think it matters. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes, but be for chicken tonight. This will be fun. I hope you're able to use a big tool. Can, I'm not. Can okay. I use my jackknife? Uh, I mean, if we need something smaller for you, we can. <laughs> So, <laughs> you ready? I'm ready, you ready? Okay, I'll okay. put some gloves on, Get we'll do this. On. How you doing tonight, sir? Oh, good. 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 Right on, thanks for coming out tonight, appreciate it. I already cut my thumb once, I had to bandage up, so it was no big deal. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What are you doing over there? Yeah. 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 How we doing tonight? Great, right thank you for coming on tonight. Did we get up? I think we crushed it. Crushed that. <laughs> I cut myself, yeah. but nobody knew till now. Yeah. Cried like a little bitch. Too. <laughs> that is some good beef, and that's some good fucking chicken. And then, of course, once it's all over, we get to have a beer, right? What, who <laughs> what the fuck poured that? I did. It's all about the head. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> and that was it. Drove back home uh, this morning. It was only minus 35, so it wasn't that bad. Anyways, big thanks to everybody that came out and supported that event. Uh, that's the best I could do for a video this week, but I really wanted to show you the awesome business that Farron's got going on up in Nipple, and that guy does a lot of work to help out his community and uh, raised just over $18,000 with this event. So uh, that all goes towards Canadian Mental Health Association. So if you ever get a chance and you're in Nipple, and swing by the damn smokehouse and, and support a, a great family-run business, thanks to Farron and all his staff. 
And thanks everybody for coming out to the show. We had a blast here these last four in a row that I did. Uh, you guys have been an unreal crowd uh, and it's been a lot of fun. A couple of tickets left for my Grand Prairie show that's gonna be coming up on February 9th. Make sure to grab those, get the link in the description of this video. And that's it. I uh, I need to give this voice box a rest if I'm going to hit it again here next weekend. So this is Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you that if you find yourself uh, starting to lose your voice, shutting YouTube off for a little while not talking might be the best choice. Catch you next time. QuickDickMcDick.ca. I meant also YouTube off. You should keep watching Quick Dick videos. <laughs>